Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm Batman. What's up, everyone? <laughs> it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. And guess what? We're back with a double review. So we're going to do a quick little double review, guys, of these two figures from Batman, McFarlane. I got them loose. If you guys watched my little uh, geek haul, um, we're just going to take a quick look at these guys because I'm sure you have seen these guys before. Um... I just want to do a quick review because I feel like they deserve a review. So, let's start with the accessories. They, of course, they come with the two stands right there. McFarlane is known for these plastic circular stands right there. Of course, they come with trading cards right there. One for Batman, one for Joker. There's a little read-up if you guys are interested to know about Batman and Joker. If you guys don't know who Batman and Joker is, why are you watching this review? Uh, Batman comes with this awesome grappling gun. The Batarang right here, Batarang grappling gun right there, and he also comes with like a hook piece right here as well. Joker comes with these two chattering jaws, one closed, one open right there. Very, very dope. And this awesome uh, pistol, Colt 45, maybe not, Magnum. Okay, so let's take a look at Batman real quick. We'll do some comparisons with some other figs that I got. So here's Batman. He looks very nice, man. Uh, I'm not going to lie, McFarlane uh, does a great job with Batman figs. Here's the kind of, nah, it's not really hard, kind of rubber cape, plastic rubber cape. Um, it's very nicely detailed. I really like how it looks. I like how, you know, it goes over his shoulders and kind of sacks down really 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 nice man um very very nicely well designed batman i have to admit i actually do like this freaking batman man <laughs> like this batman man uh elbows elbows let's see not really so much 90 degree bend yeah not 90 degree bend he's a really really great looking batman i have to admit really really great looking Torso swivel, waist swivel, legs can go out that much. Of course, knee bend, double jointed knees. Very nice. I'm not going to lie. I really like this Batman. He's a very nicely detailed Arkham Batman. Okay, let's take a look at the Joker. Let's see. Put Batman there. There is the Joker. Once again, very, very nicely done. Face is done nicely. Body, shirt, uh, pants can do the splits. Pretty much the same articulation as Batman. Double jointed. Look at that, man. Joker is flexible. Look at that. I just like, I like how he looks, man. I really like this guy. I, I passed on him when he first came out because I wasn't interested in picking up another Joker because I had the original Joker. Here's the double jointed, well, the original Joker from the Arkham Asylum. But damn, man, he looks freaking great. Uh, great, great figure, man. You don't really appreciate the figures until you actually have them in hand. So here is the Joker holding the gun. Let's see, try to get the Joker holding the gun. And look at that, man. Really nicely done, dude. He holds it very well. Very nicely done. Trigger finger fits into the trigger. Just a great overall detailed look. Waist swivel, nothing at the... Well, yeah, yeah, you can bend. Yeah, you can bend. The face is done nicely. Paint apps are done nicely. I have really nothing to complain about. Articulation at the ankles. Toe pivot. Great, great figure, man. Didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I really like this freaking Joker. Great looking Joker, man. Great looking Joker, great looking Batman. Let's put Batman's weapons, his weapon in his hand. Let's see how well that goes in there. Very nicely done. 
<laughs> I'm not going to lie. I like it. Let's put his bag, uh, batarang in his hand. Okay, guys, let me give you my rating. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I give you my rating, let's do some comparisons here. So here was the Riddler, the last figure that I reviewed uh, from DC Collectibles. There he is with Joker. They actually stand pretty nicely. You know, I think the Joker should be a little bit taller. He'll go nicely in my collection. Uh, Batman, Nightfall Batman. He goes pretty well with this Joker. Not bad. Um, the Flash. The Flash with the Joker. They go well. Batman with the Flash. They go pretty well, man. I'm not going to lie. There he is with Nightfall Batman. Great looking figure, man. Great looking figure, man. Let me do some measurements, guys. Um, they, they should stand on the round the seven inch mark, but we're going to do some measurements anyways, and I'll give you my rating. I'll give you individual ratings because they're both individual releases. So the Joker stands at seven and one eighth. That's just a little bit under over seven inches tall. Batman all the way up to his ears is at seven and three fourth. That's just a little under eight inches tall. Okay, guys. Batman, I didn't think I would like him as much as I do. A lot of people complain about is the eyes. I actually like the eyes. I like the bat ears. Uh, the belt, the overall look, he looks really great, guys. So uh, for that, I'm going to give him like a seven. Seven and a half, maybe. The Joker, same thing. Seven, seven and a half. Really great looking Joker, guys. Really great looking figures, man. I I have to admit, McFarlane is doing a great, great job with these uh Batman figs, man. I'm glad to add these uh, Batman figures to my collection. Before we end this uh, review, guys, I'm going to break out the other Batman uh, figure that I have from the original DC Arkham uh, Asylum, Arkham Origins, Arkham Batman. We'll just say Arkham Batman, Arkham Joker. We're going to do a little bit of comparison because I don't really want to do a versus episode of who made it better. I just want to break out and do some comparisons real quick. Okay, so we'll take a look at Batman first. Now, this Batman, I do believe, is from the sequel. Uh, they re-released this Batman before. Um, of, and McFarlane did with this kind of armor. But we'll do a little bit of comparison. They're both really done great. Of course, this Batman. <laughs> Man, look, comparing this Batman with this Batman right now, he just looks really, really out of date, out of date with this Batman. Um... So, yeah, man. He looks really out to date. Great. Still a great looking figure, but you can see the body proportion, man, on this guy. <laughs> He's just... He looks so weird standing next to this Batman right here, man. And, yeah, I have to admit this McFarlane Batman is better looking. Yeah. Uh, do a comparison with this Joker. So, here is the Joker. So that's how they look together. Um, but you know, I still have a, I still have a fondness for this Joker. I still like this Joker. The head sculpts are, of course, a little bit different. This Joker is more of smiling. He still has a great looking head sculpt, and then this one is a more of a grimacing Joker. You can see the comparisons right here. This guy is more pinstripe right here. It's pretty much the same wardrobe, same everything. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, he's pretty much identical. I can't tell you which one's better. Of course, this one looks much better, maybe because he's more newer, but this Joker is actually not that bad, guys. And also, this Joker came with this guy right here, I forget his name, was it Scarface? The puppet right here. So yeah, man, this, this, in my opinion, this Joker still, this Joker still holds up, in my opinion, uh, but standing next to this Joker, man, <laughs> dude, dude, it's just weird seeing it, dude, seeing them together. What do you guys think? Do you guys prefer the McFarlane or the DC version? That's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comments section, guys. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Tell me what you guys think of these McFarlane figs. I think they're really, really great, man. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.